NBA 2K24, one of the hardest shooting 2Ks in history. If you don't believe me, just look at some of these tweets. These are tweets from people in the community. Now, shooting in this game has been very inconsistent all year. When I mean all year, I mean all year. It's still people looking for jump shots. Why do you think every time you go to YouTube or you search up 2K, it's just jump shot after jump shot after jump shot? Now, as you can see right here, look, it's a whole list of jump shots you can use. But after you use those jump shots, you can end up shooting like this or you could end up shooting like this. But today, I will be showing you how to find the perfect jump shot for you and only for you on NBA 2K24. These right here are the best jump shot bases in the game, from the smallest guards all the way to the centers. I listed all of them. All of these are the best bases. Now let's get right into the video, but before we do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get notifications for more videos like this. If this video is helpful, I promise you it will be helpful for you in the end. Now the base I'm going to show you first is Terrain Prince. I chose Terrain Prince because this is the main base that I use currently right now on my 6-8 guard. And I use Terrain Prince because that's really the best base for me. Now I'm going to show you all how to make this jump shot live. I'm going through all the different steps. And once you figure out the base, that's really kind of the easiest part. Now the second part of finding your own jump shot is choosing uh, the upper release 1 and the upper release 2. This is kind of a key step, but what you do and what YouTubers do is usually they pick the best, they pick the best grade for it. They just try to get A plus, A plus, A plus, A plus. See, with that, finding your own jump shot, you really don't got to do that. You see, I created this jump shot just that quick. I mean, it's kind of fast, but it's fast enough where you can get the jump shot off. That's really all you really need, depending on where you play. Most people don't play in comp settings, you play casual. So if you're playing casual, most of the time, all you need is for the jump shot to be just a little quick so you can get it off. Now, for that jump shot, like I said, it's Terrain Prince. Upper release one is Vince Carter. The upper release two is Kobe. And then I blended that 60-40. Now, once you do all that, you just tweak it to speed to where you want it. Now, I tweak the speed where it is the fastest for me. It don't got to be for you. It's the fastest for me. You don't need all those A pluses every time. Because if you look at some YouTubers' jump shots and their videos, it's always A+, plus, A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. Then you end up using it at their release speed and everything, and you still are missing. Or oh, it's kind of inconsistent for you. That's why I said sometimes it's good to create your own jump shot. That's why I'm trying to help y'all create your own jump shot. Now, for the second jump shot I'm going to show you I'm making live, this one is t Mike Base. Now, t Mike Base is the most popular base on this game currently right now if you see somebody playing anywhere in the setting it's most likely and it looks like this it's tracy mcgrady's base now once you choose tracy mcgrady's base you're gonna go for the upper release one i went to bias harris and the upper release two i went and i see a little it might not show it right now but you see there it is right there now i tweak the speed where it's good enough just for me you see the ratings are fluctuating down at the bottom the shot attributes that's good you try to make it just is you try to make the speed just perfect for you i still depend on the grades i try to tweak it just a little bit but i don't need a plus a plus a plus everything sometimes it's good for it to be a b plus sometimes it's good for it to be you know a b it's not the end of the world some people shoot with slower jump shots and are more consistent on those slower jump shots than those faster jump shots that's why i said it's good for you to try to find your own jump shot now what you want to do when finding your own jump shot is go through almost mainly each page and once you go through mainly each page you really try to look at the ratings you don't have to get the best rating like a plus a plus a plus b it doesn't have to be all that you can be a plus maybe c b maybe another b that's good enough it doesn't have to be the fastest that's what i'm telling you as you can see right now, I'm scrolling through different pages. I don't need to go through all the pages. I just need to find a certain jump shot that has a certain speed or a certain grade that you need and that you're looking for. Some of the jump shots, I'm not going to lie, they're bad. I'm not going to lie. Some of the jump shot ratings are bad. That's why most people go with certain people specifically. And they be like, oh, yeah, you use this jump shot, you use this jump shot. It got the best, greatest, the fastest. Sometimes everybody doesn't need the fastest. 
sometimes people just need some of the basic stuff that work. Now, the last jump shot I'm showing y'all is Ben Shepard. Ben Shepard is LaMelo Ball from NBA 2K23. If y'all know about LaMelo Ball base, y'all know it was the most overpowered base in NBA 2K23. So for this jump shot, I chose Ben Shepard base. I chose upper release one as David West, and I chose upper release two as Tony Kukoc. It's gonna change right here, right now, and say something else. I'm gonna change it, but as y'all see, I chose Tony Kukoc. And for the blending for this jump shot, I went 47% David West and 53% Tony Kukoc. I did that kind of for the ratings too. Now this is kind of, you can still use this on a big guard too. I didn't really make a center jump shot, because that's, I don't really play center. That's really not my style anymore. I can play anything. I can play the one, the two, the three, the four, the five. It really don't matter to me. I play anything. That's just what I do. You feel me? Everybody not, not, might not be like that, but I'm like that. You feel me? That's just what I do. But for this jump shot, you see, I'm really changing the ratings. Right now, I said Scotty Pippen. I'm going to change it to David Wilson if you don't worry about all that. Scotty Pippen does have a good jump shot in this game to just straight Scotty Pippen. Like, his base is crazy. If you ever play play now with Scottie Pippen and the Bulls, if y'all got that far to play now online where you can play with the throwback team, you know, Scottie, Scottie Pippen, yeah. Scottie Pippen got that jumper. His jumper is tough on the game. I'm telling you, Scottie Pippen jumping is tough. But people really don't use it because it's not like a common jump shot base that people really use at all. Like, if you see people using a jump shot that shoots straight up, Sometimes it might be Scottie Pippen, sometimes it really might not be. Because y'all know with 2K, sometimes they disguise the different jump shot bases under different names. It'll be Scottie Pippen jump shot base on play now, but it'll be a whole different name in the jump shot creator if you know 2K. But yeah, that's really it for this jump shot. Now, as you can see, I made three different jump shots just that quick on my own. Now, if you use these same steps and go through it how I just showed you how to, you should be okay when it comes to creating your own jump shot on NBA 2K24. I promise you, it's really not going to fail. I'm showing all this is live. All that is live. But if you like videos like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you are new. It's been your boy Greg. Go crazy. Go crazy. We still out here grinding, man. And I'm out. Peace.